Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and you love home decor and DIY videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made these two super easy DIYs. One of them is a request, so many of you requested to know how to make this spinning tray that I feature all the time in my videos and I finally did it you guys so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting off with this turntable that I purchased online. It's pretty smooth, had some good ratings. You want to get something that is really smooth so that you get the full effect of the one that you find at Home Goods because that one is I believe $60 and it's extremely smooth and looks really sparkly so we're gonna try to recreate that. So I took that turntable and I spray painted it with some silver Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint and then I am using a 10 inch mirror. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby and I will be using these chandelier crystals to put all along the edge. And it's super easy, basically you just arrange the crystals and make sure that you work out all the spacing and everything is lined up. And all that is left to do is to glue everything down. Now for the video, I will be using hot glue, but usually, like I always say, use your E6000 or strong glue and something that is safe to use on glass and mirrors. So I just continued and glued the crystals all along the edge. I added a very small amount of glue and just made sure everything was lined up. And then I went to spin it and realized I'd never glued the main mirror on top of the turntable. So I added some hot glue to that. Again, I would definitely do E6000 there and then glued everything down. And here is the final look. I think this looks gorgeous, just like the one at Home Goods, and for a fraction of the cost, I will link everything down below for you guys for all the supplies that you will need. And you can use it for just about anything to display your favorite perfume or any decor that you want to have on a turning spinning tray. I think it's so beautiful and so sparkly. For the original piece, the crystals are actually more inward and this one I wanted it to radiate out a lot more so that's why I placed them this way and I really really love the way it turned out. Now let's move on to the second DIY. I'm going to be making these two candle holders. I'm starting off with the Dollar Tree candle holders, these tea light um, Lotus tea light holders I get online as well and these crystal knobs that I had already so I will again link everything down below for you guys and this one's super simple as well I'm just gonna be gluing the crystal knobs on top of each other and gluing them basically in between the Dollar Tree candle holders Again, I am using hot glue here. Make sure you are using E6000 or a combination of the hot glue with the E6000 just so you have more security and that stuff doesn't start popping off and falling apart on you. So once those two pieces were glued on, I basically added my tea light to the top. Now I thought I was within frame, I'm out of the frame, I'm sorry, you <laughs> can't see me gluing that one. But um, I just glued the tea light to the top of the um, upside down candle holder and then I made a second one and this time I only used one of the knobs, added some glue and then I added my tea light to the very top. And just so this would blend really well with all the crystal stuff that I have, I am using my flower mesh. And I'm just going to add it in just various places just to add a touch of um, silver to it so that everything kind of goes together. So 
So once I was done adding that, here is the final look. I really, really love the way this turned out. I think I'm going to try to make one with just the crystal knobs. We'll see. I just didn't know how to make a base with it. So we'll see. I might show that in another video. But for this one, I really love the way this looks. I love the crystals and how sparkly and all the different facets and how the light shines and um, bounces off of them. And I love the way the flower mesh just really adds the extra touch of sparkle and silver to it all. So that's it you guys for the video. Don't forget to let me know down below which one was your favorite as usual. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. God bless and bye bye.